question. It says here, which of the following describes a rigid motion transformation? So this is two. So which of the following? Is, so I'm talking about this concept of rigid, rigid motion transformation. So I have four options. I'm enlarging a photo, spinning a spinner, filling a tire with air, and slicing a log. So let me just visualize this for a sec. So enlarging a photo. So if I if, if I have this photo here, uh, I have some sort of like, I don't know, like sun or something like that. And if I enlarge this photo, I would get something like, I would get a really, really big sun, right? Uh, sorry, this is not a good picture. Uh, a big sun instead of a smaller sun. So I'm enlarging the photo. So in this case, if I'm enlarging the photo, does it actually change... Uh, is it changing the motion of um, of the? Is it changing? Is it changing a rigid motion transformation? Am I changing? Um, am I changing? Uh, am I moving the plane? So in this case, it uh, I'm I'm I I'm not right because again, I'm if I'm enlarging a photo, it doesn't mean that I'm I'm not changing anything in terms of uh, I'm changing the actual uh, dimensions of the photo. Right, the sun here becomes smaller in this photo in A, and B here is a bigger, much bigger. Uh, sun, right? So again, I'm changing the dimensions of the sun by enlarging a photo. So A here is not an example of a rigid motion transformation. B here, if I spin a spinner, so if I look at, I'm I'm actually a pretty poor drawer, so I'm so sorry about that. But um, let me do a some sort of a maybe this is a fidget spinner of some sort. If I'm spinning a spinner or a top or something like that, am I in, am I increasing the size if I'm spinning it in like for example the clockwise direction? I'm not right. I'm only I'm only changing the distance, the distance between the center and the uh, the outside of the 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 length of the spinner does not change. Right. It's simply just rotating around kind of the center. So this is kind of a, a circle. It's going to ro rotate around this kind of circle here. So in this case, I'm not changing the distance. This is will always be the same. Right. The distance from the center and from the middle of the spinner to the center is equal at all of these points. Right. If it, assuming it's a perfect circle, again, it's not a perfect circle, right? But I'm assuming that these are all distances that are equal, which means therefore this is a rigid motion transformation. So B here is actually correct. Let me show you uh, C and D to prove that it's right. So filling a tire with with air, if I had a tire here, again, I'm sorry for my drawings here. If this here is a tire and I'm filling it with, and I'm putting air, what I'm going to get is I'm going to get a bigger tire, right? Uh, the tire is going to enlarge. And it'll have more air in it, right? So if I'm increasing the amount of uh, the the volume of the of the tire, then I'm increasing the distance, right? The distance between here, or sorry, the the distance between the center and the the, the end of the tire is this is here is smaller than this one. The center of the tire and this one is larger, right? Because it's more air in it. So it increases in radius, increases in diameter. So it means that uh, this here is not an example of rigid transformation. And then D here. If I'm slicing a log, oh shoot, slicing a log into its sections. So again, if I had like a, oh my God, I'm so sorry for my drive. If I'm slicing a log, if I'm slicing it by one, two, and three or something like that, a sub, uh, the the cross section, or not cross section, but this, uh, but the, but the um, the cut of the wood would just be smaller, right? It would, it wouldn't, it would change the length of the log, right? Again, this here is one length here is here and this here if i divide into three pieces this is one third of the length right so i'm changing the dimensions in, the, in terms of length which means that uh the distance is being changed so this here is not an example of rigid motion transformation so this here is so a is wrong c is wrong and d is wrong which means b here is our correct answer so let's check out let's let's look over here so rigid motion transformation is also called isometry and a term that describes moving the plane such that the relative motions of the points at distance stays the same, right? Again, here, this is the only example that stays the same. There's translation, rotation, reflection, and glide reflection. And in this case, B here, it's a rotation, right? I'm rotating, um, uh, rotating on the center here, right? I'm rotating, um, this is the pivot point, right? Um, and uh, so enlarging a photo is not a type because all points change good. Spinning a spinner is rotating, that's good. Filling a tire is not because there's no such points which relative position can be found because again it's getting bigger and bigger. Slicing a log is not a rigid transformation because no property of rigid transformation. Yeah, there's no translation, rotation, reflection, or glide reflection here. So B here is the correct answer. So great logic. 
and solution. So, so this here is a is a great solution, and my solution here is correct. So I drew it out because it's a bit easier to visualize, but.